All right, guys, this is Jerry at Midwest Cam Solutions. Thought I'd run through a little bit of macro information for you. Here recently they did a macro um, as a tech tip for a fifth axis vise. It's kind of cool. Kind of wanted to show you that, but I wanted to show you something that I think is more powerful um, as a macro. But let's go through this fifth axis vise macro. I've got a solid model here. I'm going to click on the model, go up to my macros where I've loaded this uh, macro in, run the fifth axis vise macro. It asks me a bunch of questions that I can fill out. Um, I'm going to put this on a parallel, and I'm going to say it's a half inch up. And I'm going to say, OK. And it's going to build the vise around this piece of stock um, and locate it the way I told it to. There we go. If I zoom out, you can see I got a half inch gap there. The parallel is not there, but the gap is. And then we've got, uh, this is all defined as fixture. We can use it for collision detection simulation etc and it'll look great let me show you something a little different i'm going to run this other macro it's called a simple shaft uh, let's make sure okay so it's asking me diameters and lengths so first diameter is one inch and you can see what this is for is for like a family of parts maybe it's a 750 diameter there uh, maybe the second diameter should be an inch 250 Third diameter, we'll leave it at three inches. You got L1, L2, L3. We can answer those questions. I'm gonna just change this one and we'll leave the others as they are. I hit okay. It builds that thing for me. It shrinks, shrink wraps it for me. Um, it built a couple of tools and it built a couple of tool paths. So it roughed that side and then it roughed that side. That to me is gonna make money. Let me show you something else real quick. Hit my home on zoom. There it is. Let's maybe build us a quick solid here. Um, two, 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 a one by one. Our Z max will leave it zero, 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 and maybe minus one. Do it. There we've got a quick cube. Um, I'm just going to shrink wrap that. Control squiggle. Got a shrink wrap. Um, one thing I like, one macro I like is this point on face macro. What if you wanted a point right on the center of this face? I know that sounds silly, but if all you're doing is working with solids, you would have to extract geometry, draw some lines, find where they intersect, make a point. Hey, there's where the center of this face is, right? Or I'm going to go up to my macros here and I'm going to configure. And in order to put this new macro in, you need to click on the next available one. Let's go browse. I have uh, obviously cheated a little bit. I got a folder called Jerry's Macros. Create point on face. I'm going to go in here. Create point on face dot Mac. That's what I want. I'm going to say open. You see it kind of opens it up down here. But we need to update. To bring it in here and you need to hit OK don't just bail out of this thing you got to hit OK or it's not gonna load that macro in for you now I got macro point on face we need to select the face run the macro one created OK there it is there's a point right on center of that face to me that's a pretty powerful macro but what I really like is that step shaft and you know a guy can uh, uh, you can use that step shaft macro um, and customize it for yourself 